Hello and welcome. This is the video for Unit 3 of the World English 3 3rd Edition Digital Book, which you can get if you have the World English 3 3rd Edition book. Just follow the link in the book, put in the code when, once you are at the site, and not only will the digital book be available, but many, many other things. All right, so if you do have the book, you should be on page 30, 31. This is what it looks like. I will now change it by first going to single page. And minimizing this tab okay so these are the pages i will leave this here for just a second so you can see what will be covered in the unit all right so you've looked at the unit goals we are now going to begin with vocabulary all right, so if you have watched any of the other videos for the book, then you know that the first reading will have words in blue. And that's the vocabulary for the unit. And then the next part will be making sure you understand what the vocabulary words mean. Usually, with the meaning matching the word with the meaning or a sentence where the vocabulary word would go into the blank space all right so i will give you time to read this so what i will do for the students who do not have the book i'm going to zoom in a little bit on the reading so you can actually read it. And you can now pause the video so that you can read it for as long as you need now. All right, so you have read this. I'm going to now reset the page. And I will now open the activity for the vocabulary. All right, as you know, and I will do this, uh, you can, uh, if you have the digital version like I have here, you can actually drag each of these into the correct space. If you have the book, you can write the words in the blank space. If not, make notes. Uh, but yeah, whatever you need to do, please do that. And um, yeah, uh, as usual, I will give you as much time as you need to read each sentence and find the correct word for the blank space. Take as long as you need. Pause the video now. All right, welcome back. And I will drag each word into the correct space. And then we will check each time all right so we we do know that when you in writing when you start a new sentence the first word is always capitalized so even if you weren't sure you know that this is going to be capitalized and the rest are not so we know it's quality Quality describes how good or bad something is. 
All right. A is a rule that people in a country must follow. A law. You must follow the law. This is a, a situation is one that is bad or that has a bad effect. Well, negative is bad. So a negative situation is one that is bad or has a bad effect. A person who something made it happen or exist. So the person created something. So he made it happen or he made it exist when it was not there before. If a person, something, it happened to him or her. So when a person experiences something, but in this case, it's the past tense. If a person experienced something, it happened to him or her. If dust, uh, smoke, or fog is, it is hard to see through it. If it is thick, you cannot see through it. People use to travel from one place to another. Vehicles, there are many different types. They're used for traveling from point A to point B. Something that makes air or water dirty is called pollution. Water pollution, air pollution, pollution. All right. D of an action are what happens as a result of it. The effects of an action are what happens as a result of it. And the level of something like pollution is how much there of it there is. Sorry. All right. So if you need to write this down or make notes, pause the video for as long as you need now. All right. Welcome back. We have uh, one more activity in the vocabulary section, and it's very short. There are only four. Again, uh, these, are also, these are the vocabulary words, but only four of them. Uh, complete each collocation below with a word from the article. All right, take as long as you need. Pause the video now. All right, welcome back. So, Water or air pollution. Okay, pollution level. A negative effect. And thick fog or clouds. All right, well, that concludes the vocabulary section here. And uh, before I close this activity, uh, if you need to take notes or copy this down, pause the video for as long as you need now. All right. As I mentioned, this is the conclusion of the vocabulary section. The next part, we will be covering grammar. Welcome to the grammar section of Unit 3. Uh, the grammar section here is the passive 1. If you have a book, this will be on page 33. Now, what exactly is the passive? Well, if you can see here on the bottom, 
it tells you that the passive is more common in formal written English than in informal spoken English. It's used in spoken English, but not that much. The passive is used to emphasize or to show the object of a verb by making it the subject of the passive sentence. Uh, number two is a little bit clearer. Uh, the passive is when the agent or the person or thing doing the action is unknown, unimportant, or is obvious. We know. So they just change it to the passive. Now, how do we form the passive? All right, again, reading from the book. The passive or the passive voice is formed using D plus past participle or past tense of the main verb. Examples. Pollution is caused by vehicles. People are affected by pollution. Now, you have an active sentence you want to change it into a passive sentence how can you do that all right let's look at pollution causes many problems and i will zoom in so it's clearer all right so pollution is the subject causes is the active verb many problems is the direct object. Now, what happens is the direct object becomes the subject, and now the subject is the agent. And the verb, as was mentioned up here, becomes passive with the use of B form and the past tense. So, pollution causes many problems, changes to many problems are caused by pollution. That's what this is explaining to you. All right, let me reset this. Uh, we will be doing uh, D E F uh, for the goal check. Uh, just read it and give your opinion or write what is the biggest pollution problem in your area. And let me read it here. Uh, tell your classmates, but in this case, if you would like to write in the comments below. Which kind of pollution is the biggest problem where you live? Is it water, air, noise, or light? Say what the pollution is caused by and explain why it's a problem. Okay, you don't have to explain, you, you don't have to write a really long comment, but you know, what is the biggest pollution problem where you live? Go ahead and write about it in the comments below. Uh, but we are going to start with D. Uh, you will be reading the beginning of a conversation which speaker is using the passive voice. Here's the activity. Go ahead and read the dialogue and which speaker is using the passive voice. You, you have as long as you need. Pause the video now. All right. So, the speaker that is using the passive voice should be Sophia. And there are only two things that Sophia said, and the passive voice here would be 
I was told about the great smog by a friend. That is the passive. Right there. All right. Uh, yeah, if you need to make any notes, wh whatever you need to do, go ahead and pause the video. All right. We are going to move on to section E, which is a which you will hear this part of the dialogue and a continuation, which is here. So what I want you to do, let me open the activity. Uh, as you are listening, you will hear each of them say this. It will be towards the middle of the audio. What are they saying? Uh, listen for the blank space. Uh, let me read to you what each blank space is. The first blank space, you have a choice of past, was past. The second blank space, you have a choice of told, were told. The third blank space, happened, was happened. The fourth blank space, worked, was worked. And the fifth and final blank space, reduced, was reduced. All right. So, once they get into this part of the dialogue, if you have the book, you can go ahead and write what you hear. If you don't have the book, make a note. So you will have the dialogue here and you will be listening to the audio. All right. So let me start the audio in three, two, one. I didn't know that London used to have bad pollution. Did you? Actually, yes. I was told about the great smog by a friend. Was he living there when it happened? No way. He's the same age as us. Have you ever experienced bad pollution? There was a lot of pollution in my city last year. A law was passed by the government, and people were told not to drive their cars for a week. Wow. What happened? The law worked. The level of pollution was reduced a lot. Good. I bet many people were unhappy about not driving, though. All right. So, as usual, I will be showing you what the answers are. But if you need a little bit more time, go ahead and pause the video now. All right. Here are the answers. Okay. Have you ever experienced bad pollution? There was a lot of pollution in my city last year. A law was passed by the government and people were told not to drive their cars for a week. Wow. What happened? The law worked. The level of pollution was reduced a lot. Good. I bet many people were unhappy about not driving, though. All right. These are the answers. Let's check them. All right. As usual, if you need to copy this down or make any notes, go ahead and pause the video. All right. Let's close this and uh, let's move on. All right, for the last part, um, this is um, more definition. I will open the activity. All right, uh, basically, complete each definition with a word from the box. There is one extra word. So the words that you can choose here are strong, loud, dusty, dark, and clean. All right. Uh, Pause the video for as long as you need now.
All right. Welcome back. Now, before we begin, just in case, I can tell you that the one extra word is strong. So if you used strong, you might need to check again. Water pollution means the water in an area is not clean. Check. If a place has smog or the air is, it has air pollution. Dusty. A place with a noise pollution problem can be very loud. And since strong was the extra word, dark is the final word. Places that are never dark have a light pollution problem. All right, these are the answers. If you need to copy this or make any notes, pause the video for as long as you need now. All right, let's move on to the back of the book. And we will be going to the back of the book now. So if you have the book, please turn to page 172. We will, uh, it will be here. This is more of an explanation of the passive voice. Uh, you can go ahead and read this. Uh, I'll give you, well, I'll give you as much time as you need. Pause the video now. All right. So we're going to open activity A. It's pretty simple. All right. So. Rewrite the sentences in your notebook in the passive, or if you have the book, you should be in the back of the book. Uh, use a by phrase when and if it is needed. All right, so I will first leave the first six here for about 20 seconds, and then I will scroll down. All right, that's been more than 20 seconds. Here are the rest. All right, so if you need to take a screenshot of this, please do that now. All right, one more time, because I will be scrolling back up. If you need to take a screenshot, please do it now. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up. And yeah, take as much time as you need. Pause the video now. All right, I am not going to go through the writing for each of these. You know, you, you can actually write. But if you have the digital book, that is something you, you can do. All right, so we are going to change these sentences to the passive. People use coal and oil for heating and transportation. Coal and oil are used by people for heating and transportation. Okay, I know that what I said does not match this, but it is correct. Or, 
Coal and oil are used for heating and transportation. But yes, you can use by. Coal and oil are used by people for heating and transportation. All right. Conservation groups raise money for environmental projects. And the passive voice, money is raised by conservation groups for environmental projects. But if somebody wrote, money is raised for environmental projects, it's not wrong, but it is good to know who is raising the money. Okay. Extreme weather has caused many problems in recent years. Many problems have been caused by extreme weather in recent years. I am, I am going to scroll down now. So uh, if you need to pause the video to make any notes, do that now. All right, I'm going to scroll for the rest of this. All right, immigrants brought invasive species to Australia during the 1800s. Invasive species were brought to Australia by immigrants during the 1800s. Uh, you would not be wrong if you wrote invasive species were brought to Australia during the 1800s. Palm oil plantations are causing deforestation in Southeast Asia. Deforestation in Southeast Asia is being caused by palm oil plantations. Here you would need to have the buy all right. In many parts of the world, people are conserving energy. Energy is being conserved in many parts of the world. Now, energy is being conserved by people in many parts of the world is also correct for anyone who wrote that. One company developed an excellent land management plan. An excellent land management plan was developed by one company. Again, here you would need the by one company. It is needed. Recycling has kept tons of paper and plastic out of landfills. Tons of paper and plastic have been kept out of landfills by recycling. Again, you would need by recycling here also. All right, these are the answers. Again, for this part, if you need to pause the video to copy or make any notes, please pause the video now. All right, I will slowly scroll up so you can take a look. And I will be closing this activity in 10 seconds. And it says here, complete the sentences with an appropriate agent. Uh, those nests in the tree were made by... Okay, this is where you can write whatever you want. So let me zoom in. Uh, yeah, because this is a, another part where you can use the comment boxes, you know, write in the comment box. Uh, Right. These nests in the tree were made by birds or maybe a certain type of bird. 
this textbook was published by, and you can look at this textbook and see who, who published it. Oil is being used as fuel by, again, whatever, whatever you would like to put in there. My favorite kind of shampoo is made by, and then everybody has their favorite shampoo. Rising sea levels are caused by, what do you think? What causes rising sea levels? All right. If you need to take a screenshot, please do it now. All right, I'm going to reset. We're going to go back to the page 33. And just to remind you one more time in gold check, in the comments below, go ahead and write what is the biggest pollution problem where you live. Uh, use the comment section below. All right, that is the grammar section. And uh, I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.